not thinking about it now, aren't you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, so we'll quickly move to someone else, shall we? Yes, please. Would you have preferred it if your father would have worn a condom, right? <laughs> um, this is Danny Shine. He likes to do anti-establishment conversation. What is anti-establishment? Well, him asking you if you preferred your father to wear a condom is basically anti-establishment. He also talks about the decriminalization of drugs. Should we get closer? Sure. You should. School of fish. You ever heard that? Did you ever? Yeah. Why? Why do you think they call it school? Think school of fish. Think. Why do you think they call it school? What do fish do when they're in groups? What do fish do when they're in groups? Swim where? In the same direction, right? That's what they're trying to do with you in school. They're trying to make you swim in the same direction. And they will not teach you what you really need to know in school. The one neat thing you can rely on is that what you really need to know, they will not teach you in normal schools. They only teach the things you really need to know in a very tiny number of schools. What you really need to know, you can rely on the fact that you will not find it in school. What you really need to know is what you're doing here on the planet. What you really need to know is how to think for yourself. What you really need to know is what law really is. What you really need to know is what ethics are. What you really need to know is what you're here for on the planet. What you really need to know is what your natural talents are. And none of that will you find in school. Because they don't want you to know all that stuff. They don't want you to know that stuff. So how are you going to learn to think for yourselves, guys? Quit school. Quit school. I want to stab my teacher. I stab your teacher. I don't think that's going to help you think for yourself. It might give you a little bit of pleasure and then you might be locked up for 30 years. So probably not the greatest idea. Don't forget, teachers are not really, no, no one's, well, no one's completely to blame. They're not completely to blame. Yeah, they're stuck in a very difficult situation. They're low paid and they're doing an impossible job, you understand, right? But that doesn't <laughs> give them an excuse to treat you badly, which they probably, some of them do. Now, the way to learn how to think for yourself, you can do it now by studying critical thinking. And what you need to do that is to find either a book or two on critical thinking, or you can go online on YouTube and start to study critical thinking. So, for example, to, familiar, to familiarize yourself with logical fallacies. Those are things that aren't true that are used in the communication to trick you so that you can't think for yourself. You need to study psychology and study subliminal messaging. You are being subliminally messaged all over the place. Do you know about that? Yeah, do you know what a subliminal message is? I have no idea. Okay, will you tell him what a subliminal message is then? Do you know what it is? No? He doesn't know how to explain it. Okay, can someone here help us? What is a subliminal message? Sending information without you realizing you're receiving it. Sending you information without you realizing it. Let's have a little lesson in subliminal <laughs> messaging. Cool. I'm going to borrow your evening standard. Yeah, go for and it. And hopefully That's a perfect you won't example. want it back. No, 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 no. Now on this page <laughs> is a number of subliminal messages, right? What this, well, firstly, here's the first subliminal message. What, you, I want you to say first thing that comes into your head. What is this? Quickly. What is this? What do you think? What do you think? It's a newspaper. No, it's not. That's a subliminal message. The subliminal message is that this paper contains news. It doesn't. This contains nothing. It does not contain news. It contains messages. That's what it is. Lots and lots of messages. Some of them are obvious, but most of them are subliminal. So the first thing is, 
that it's not a newspaper. Secondly, it's called the London Evening Standard. Which is a newspaper. Right? Which is a newspaper, is it? Where did you get that idea from? How do you know it's a newspaper? Because it's a newspaper. Because it is a newspaper, is it? It's a piece of paper with the news on it. Really? Is this news? Well, let's have a look at it. Let's, let's see if this is news. Right? It's what normal people uh -oh. care about. Uh -oh. Is it? <laughs> this is what normal people care about. People that watch TV. People that watch TV. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, older mums are a burden on the NHS. Right? Now, doctors warn them that of more women over 55 needing care after going abroad for IVF. Okay, so what are the hidden messages in this? What are the hidden messages in this? Come on, guys. No, no, why don't you tell me? I don't have to do all the work. What are the hidden messages in this? Come on. Don't believe everything you read. <laughs> it's not quite, but he's close. It's not quite. He's trying. The, yes, he's trying these. Okay, firstly, the font and the size of the letters. Why? Why does it say older mums are a burden on the NHS in such big letters? What's that? It catches the eye. Yes, it catches the eye indeed. What type of feeling do you feel when you read that? What does it mean? Older mums are a burden on the NHS. What does that, what does that mean? Yeah. yeah exactly. Give him a cracker. Yeah, exactly. Man. Try and give you someone else, someone else for you to hate. Someone else for you to resent. When who's actually stealing from us and destroying the NHS? The government <laughs> and the corporations, right? But it's older mums that are a burden on the NHS, really. And how many of See them? See why I don't want to interview this guy. Yeah. I don't think so. Then, they've got a picture of some older bloke with a smile on his face. What's that all about? It's all very confusing, isn't it? He's got a smile, there's a burden. Doctors warn of more women over 55 needing care after going abroad for IVF. A top doctor today sounded an alert over the huge stress placed on the NHS by all the women having babies. A top doctor. What's the little bit of the, there's another little bit of the of, of the subliminal messaging in the top doctor, yeah? This whole idea that doctors, and if he's a top doctor, that we should somehow take him seriously. Don't take anybody seriously. Obviously not me. <laughs> I obviously don't have to say that. I'm learning more here than I'm learning in school. I'm learning more here than I'm learning in school. Good. And I'll tell you something, my friend. Do you know what Albert Einstein said? He said what you're saying. He said that my education began the moment I left school. That's what he said, and he was a pretty smart guy. Smart? Thank you. Anyway. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a little break now because I'm going to do a little interview with this chap. If you like what I'm doing, I do have some leaflets. They're a little bit scruffy, which is a part of what I like. I like giving them out scruffy, otherwise you might start taking them a bit too seriously. Don't believe anything I tell you. Don't believe anybody at all. It's not about belief, it's about an inner knowing. I just say that to sound cool and spiritual. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you very much really? for being part of this. Social Thank you. Experimentalist Bye, guys. on YouTube. Don't stab your teacher. Don't do it. <laughs> Say no to violence. <laughs>